Hey guys, welcome back to a new video which is about composed states. And these states are used to control how our composable looks like in a certain moment. For example, its visibility, or if it's a text, what's written in that text, or anything like this, or its color background. So these things that can be changed are called states. And with these composed states, we control them based on various factors as we want. So let's go to Android Studio and get started. Now here we are in Underwood Studio in a Compose app. Now let's just create my screen, Composable, Fun. I'm going to call it Screen, like this. And inside my screen, I'm going to have a common. And then let me just add some modifier to this common to fill the max size and center the content. So horizontal alignment, alignment dot center horizontally and vertical arrangement arrangement dot center and inside this common i'm going to have a text and we'll see why we need this text inside it i'm just going to write visible text like this so we'll control this text visibility whether we want to see it or not and then i'm going to put a little spacer here give it a height of let's say 50 dot dp and then a button with this button, we will toggle whether we want to see that text or not. So inside this button, I'm just going to have text a text that says change change visibility. Or to make it even clear, change text visibility like this. Of course, now if I click on the button, nothing will happen because I did not do anything on the on click right here. And also I can't just do something like this as we used to see in XML something like var text is equal to text uh, this one and then I just say text dot visibility there is not something like that in compose we need to use states for that and as I said right now I can change the visibility when I click on the button unless I have a state and let's just create that state and let's call it val text state or text visibility state like this and it is equal to a mutable state of by default we want to see our text so true like this so we pass a boolean value and this mutable state of as its name says it's a state that is mutable so we can change it later if we want to and then the initial value for this state is true so we pass we can pass a boolean a text anything basically we can pass to this one and once the this value that we passed here changes so when we change the value of our state then anything that observes this state will also change so that's called a recomposition so for example when we change now this value of this state and then we already observe this one in our text so whether we want to show it or not then this text will recompose or basically it will recreate itself that's what it's what recomposition means but now we get an error because now it says creating a state object during recomposition without remember without using remember because we need to remember this this is just the initial value and in case this entire compose composable recomposes or changes itself basically that's what it means we won't be able to actually change the visibility of this one because then this state will just set to its initial value which is true so we need to remember the very first value that is you need to remember here We need to import it like this and remember it's just a lambda function or you can say a, a block a remember block in which now we pass our mutable state or our state so it remembers the very first initial value so later when our text it gets recomposed it won't actually toggle or set the very first initial value but now the new value and now to change this value we go to our button and just say text visibility state dot value is equal to text visible state dot value but we want the opposite of that so we set it like this and now you may say what what is this why can't you just say for example something like this now we are not actually accessing the value of the text of the state I mean but the state itself and to get the boolean value that is either true or false in this case at first it is true so this value just means true in this case 
and now since we want the opposite of it then it will be set to false so if this one is true we'll be setting it to the opposite value of itself which is false if it's false then the opposite is true that's what we are trying to do if it's visible make it invisible if it's invisible make it visible when we click on this button and now to show this text or not based on that uh, state all I'm going to do is seeing the value of it so if text visibility state dot value I want to show my text like this so if it's true draw this text otherwise don't so I'm observing now this state and checking if it's true draw this text otherwise don't now I'm going to call my screen right here like this and let's run the app here is my app my text is visible as you can see this is the button and when I click on it my text is gone because what's happening in here is that at first it was true so initially we say true show the text and then when we click on the button we set the value of my state to the opposite of its value so if that is true in this case yes it is true at first then set it to the opposite which is false and then this one is already ob observing this so here we are checking the value if it's true then draw this text otherwise don't show it and then when we clicked on the button we set the value of this one to the opposite of it which is false so this text or this composable will be recomposed recreates itself why because this value changes it was tr true at first but now it is false so we won't show this text anymore and that's exactly what's happening when i click i keep seeing the text and not seeing it i keep changing its visibility when i click on the button now one other thing we can do is changing just its alpha so instead of hiding the entire text i'm just going to pass a modifier to it dot alpha and then i just check that right inside the alpha function so right here i'm going to say if my text is visible i'm going to say one f so i want to have any transparency in my in my text else I'm going to say, for example, 0, 3, F, like this. So I'm just setting now the alpha. Let me just put this one in another line here. If my text is visible, make it 1F. Otherwise, make it 0 0.3F. And the alpha just changes the t transparency, whether we want our text to be a little bit transparent or completely transparent based on what we want. And this is the value that controls that. 1F means I want to completely see it. So no transparency, 0 0.3F. I want it to be just 30% visible. That's what it means. So let's run the app. Now when I click, as you can see now, it's not completely visible. It's a little bit transparent. And that changes when I click on the button. So this is now how I use the state to change my transparency of my text. And now how if I want to change the text that is written here? What I can do is that I'm just going to create a variable that says, for example, text. And the same as the alpha right here. I just copy this and I paste it and then I change the value here so if it's visible this is what I show otherwise for example not visible text and then I set that as my text so this one as my text text and if I run the app so now it says visible text and now it says not visible text so I can also change the text based on this state and of course if I want to create a whole new state for that it doesn't matter in this case but I can also just say text state itself and then I'm just going now to change its value for example right here text state dot value is equal again just this something like that and then I assign this to it's an empty string because we'll assign its value from here and then I use this one right here dot values the text state dot value and we'll get the same behavior simply so visible text not visible text but the first approach was more simpler and more readable basically that's let me just bring that back like this so this is what compose state is it just used to actually control some behaviors and mainly how our composables look like. If you want to change our, how our composable looks like, for example, here we change its alpha or we change its text, we can use compose states to do that. 
And actually, this is it for this video. In the next video, you will get to see text fields. And these text fields can't actually function right without these states. So that's why I decided to actually make this video first before the text field video. So see you in that video, and bye.